Good morning or afternoon, beautiful souls. Today is Monday, August 30th, and we surprisingly did not lose power with Hurricane Ida last night. Um, our streets are flooded, but the flooding will not reach our house. Like I said before, the biggest concern was trees falling on the house. And even in the backyard, um, we don't have massive branches and half trees like we did last year with Hurricane Zeta. So um, we didn't lose power. We are perfectly fine. It got a little scary last night between 1 and 3 a.m., but I'm praying for everyone who was in the direct path that did not have a chance to evacuate. So let's jump right into today's message. Today we have the bench, which really makes me think about taking a time out. <laughs> so the um, keywords for bench are rest, judgment, contemplation, decision-making, assessment, and objective. The incantation is when I take a pause, trust myself, the answers come easily. Tarot of cards, it correlates with nine of cups, two of swords, three of pentacles, and eight of pentacles. And then the history of the bench symbol. The bench is symbolic of taking a time out. <laughs> I didn't read that either. Resting or relaxing or being swept away into deep contemplation. The bench is universal for sitting in a place of judgment or assessment. It is symbolic of a benchmark for goals, success, and is used as a unit of measurement. No way. Today's Oracle message for you. Life force energy is filled with wisdom, and it is supporting me to take a time out to listen to what I need at this time. If I am getting swept away or overwhelmed by the emotions that come from daily tasks, big decisions, and things that are out of my control, I lean into this opportunity to get centered and tune into what I need in order to stay balanced and focused. It is okay to get lost in thought. It is natural to doubt myself and where I am headed and what to do about it. This is simply a call to the universe to continue to conspire on my behalf. There is no need to rush anything. The universe is ready when I am, as I give myself permission to take a moment and a deep breath to contemplate. I trust that I will know what to do and when to act. If I am shifting from task to task and thing to thing with no end goal in mind, and as I ease into making some solid, tangible goals, I am collaborating with the universe towards achieving them. If I am sitting in a place of judgment towards myself or others, is it possible to allow some compassion and forgiveness to enter? People and situations show up in my life as teachers of lessons, when I judge the teacher, I am judging the lesson. That is powerful. When I am judging the teacher, I am judging the lesson. Okay, guys. I take this opportunity for self-reflection and to step back into alignment with myself and the universe. So Spirit is really telling you guys today, today is time to take a time out. Either to get your, your goals in order, to get things figured out, or just to kind of really just kind of take a break, you know? I feel like some of you have been running yourself ragged and it's really time to just give yourself a time out, which I do as a mother. <laughs> I'll tell the kids, mommy's in time out. But I'm also seeing that some of you um, might be taking this time out because what you really need is some breath work. And I know I talk about meditation a lot, but what I don't talk about enough is breath work in through the nose, out through the mouth, focusing on your breathing. And you're gonna be amazed at how, how um, much clarity you're going to gain when you actually focus on your breath work. And then some of you are being overwhelmed by um, daily tasks, by just regular ordinary things. And guys, that's perfectly fine. But when you find yourself just going from thing to thing to thing, and you feel like you're not accomplishing anything. Some days I tell my husband, I am nonstop moving from the moment I wake up. And yet I feel like I'm accomplishing nothing. If you feel that way, take this time out on your bench to contemplate and figure out how can you feel like you're actually being more productive in your days? How can you um, work more or point your energy more towards your goals? We have, I always trust the direction of the universe and know I am being guided. So what that's telling me right there is that when you're taking this time out today, I implore all of you, all for your very own reasons, including myself, like I really need some deep reflection today. We really need to sit on our bench 
and trust the direction the universe is pointing us in, even if we don't always understand it, right? And know that we are being guided. I mean, I mean, a lot of us don't, we get a little nervous when we think about, you know, spirit guides and angels being around us and guiding us. But if you feel truly in your heart and soul that you know that that's the case, then there's no reason why you shouldn't reach out to them and, and, you know, thank them. I thank you for guiding me, even if I don't know where I'm going. You know, I appreciate the method to your madness. And um, I always, always ask spirit, if it is in your will, please help point me to the direction of what is in the highest good of myself and the highest good of all. So let's jump into today's angel message. Oh, and real quick, I wanted to tell you guys that um, tomorrow's going to be the last day with this Antiquities of Magic deck. And I love it so much that I'm going to do my best to get back to doing a weekly message, a weekly oracle message. And I'm going to continue to be using these cards throughout the month of September. It's not going to be a whole angel message and everything. It's just going to be a message of guidance for the week. So Archangel Jophiel's message for you today. Be aware of coincidences, for they are one of my favorite ways of communicating with you. When things align up, they are due to the workings of the divine. Coincidences are often responses to your prayers. And isn't that so true? When you ask the universe, you ask your angels, you ask spirit for, for help with something specific, and then you start noticing coincidences everywhere. And like I said before, sometimes they're really hard to figure out, but just feeling the coincidences kind of reminds you that you're right where you're supposed to be. So when things align, you can trust there is a purpose and meaning behind it. Feel delighted in this because it lets you know I am always looking out for you. And real quick, this uh, I just thought back to the bench where um, the, the message today really mentioned how you know, sometimes people are brought into our lives to teach us a lesson. I have quite a few people come to me quite often telling me, you know, there's this one coworker or there's this one neighbor or there's, there's this one person who I swear lives to make my life a living hell. And what can I do about it? How do I get away from them? How do I protect my energy? And they don't like what I have to say, but usually it has... It, it's along the lines of the fact that this person was brought into your life to teach you something, you know, and so <laughs> some, we can't always decide what um, form the teacher comes in, what form the lesson comes in. But if you feel like um, they're mirroring, mirroring negativity back to you, that they're mirroring something that is triggering you, then there is definitely a reason why this person was brought into your life. Of course, it doesn't make sense in the moment. Oh, you know, my neighbor who's always giving me hell and, you know, making my life difficult. There's no reason why they're in my life. That's not the case, guys. There is a reason for everything and there is a lesson in everything <laughs> and it never ends. So if you want this coworker to go away, this neighbor to go away, whatever the situation may be, this ex-relationship, then you have to heal whatever it is this lesson is trying to teach you. And then literally like magic, they're just going to disappear from your life. Okay, so let's keep going. Today's angel number is number two. Today's angelic number supports trust. The more faith you have that you're being guided and watched over, the more secure you will feel in moving forward with your life in service to others and also in alignment with divine love. So we're talking a lot about alignment today a lot of balance in your life and just like when i was nervous as all hell over the last two days about this hurricane coming i trusted and trusted and trusted in the universe you really have to find your faith and unfortunately it takes um, a birth a death a scary situation for us to really bust out in prayer mode and to really ask the universe for help and um, guys, it doesn't have to take a, a midlife crisis or a serious circumstance for us to be able to pray. You know, we need to always make sure that our faith is available for us to lean on. Action steps. Take notice of things and people that come into your life in a seemingly random way. Think then back to your prayers, what you ask to receive. Maybe you ask for guidance on a problem and suddenly you find 
book making its way into your life or you overhear a conversation between two strangers that helps answer a problem or support a decision. And this literally makes me think about what we were just talking about, about um, taking a time out on this bench and how we can't, you know, teachers are gonna come into our life in different forms. And then here again in our angel message, and there's, I'm telling you, there's no way these can line up. These are so random, especially the angel messages. Take notice of things that come into your life in a random way because there is a lesson. They are probably a teacher for you in some way, shape, or form. And they're actually probably coming to answer one of your prayers, even if it doesn't feel like it in the moment. If you are asking the universe to get to somewhere specific, then the universe needs you to heal or work on specific aspects of yourself and your life in order to get to your manifestations, to get to where your intentions lie. So it's really important that you stay open to receiving these messages, these synchronicities. Um, stay open to spiritual alignment. You know, try to find out what chakra of yours might be blocked. And then I just saw red. So somebody's root chakra in here needs some work today. And I, I definitely think that you should check that out while you're taking your time out. Affirmation of the day, coincidences are my guardian angel's way of communicating with me. I get excited when they happen because it's how things are meant to be. And it's so true. When I have coincidences happen, or synchronicities, I thank the universe, even if I don't know what they mean. I always just say thank you for this. It, it really helps confirm to me that I'm on the right path. And um, I want to know today, what are some coincidences that you find yourself going through? Is there somebody wreaking havoc on your life? that it's really hard to see the lesson in it. Shoot me a message, you know, let me help you try to figure out what role this person is supposed to play in your life. All right, I hope you all have a super awesome day. Love, light, and blessings, and I'll be back tomorrow. Bye.